good morning you guys or oh, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back guys love you love you love you love you love you love you so much and i appreciate all of you guys i don't know how i am gonna show you guys that i really 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 care genuinely and appreciate you guys i do i so much appreciate you guys for the new subscribers welcome to my channel i'm jade i will say i'm a lifestyle vlogger because when i started off with this channel i myself did not know what i should record or what i should have for my video or what my content should be and i kept asking you guys still am asking you guys what you expect from me but then i would say really i am a lifestyle guys excuse the flies it's early in the morning it is 7 22 right now and flies are crazy in my room they literally wake me up in my room so please ignore the flies so i would say i am a lifestyle vlogger because i do a little bit of everything if i would say so i do natural hair videos i do cooking i bake i do nails i do a bit of cleaning here and there i'll be doing organizing videos shop with me travel with me i mean you name it a birthday parties and stuff like that so i will say a lifestyle vlogger it is friday morning seven something i want to show you guys how i crumb coat close over cake and decorate a spider-man cake today also i have other cakes that i will be doing for tomorrow all these cakes are for tomorrow but i may not be recording the others as it is not really the main target for today i will be targeting the spider-man two tire cake so it's simple it's not a fondant cake i will have to do it with cream um, the bottom layer is vanilla the top is carrot so i will be closing it off with two different colors and then I'll decorate with uh, the Spider-Man theme thing. I just want to take you guys along with my Spider-Man cake. I'm not sure if I will be done with that cake today because I do have others and I still have customers for the nails. So right now I'm just going to make breakfast, have breakfast and um, it's Friday, kids are at home. It's a holiday, teachers something, something. Yeah, so they have two days off. They've been off since yesterday. So after breakfast, I will be doing the first crumb coatings, put them in the fridge, and I may do the client's nails. And after that, I will be closing it off, and then again, another client will come in, and then I will come start with the decorations. The cake is traveling to Kalkfeld. Um, It's about 65 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken, from Mochivarango to Kalkfeld. So I need to have that cake coated and finished off tonight so it can sleep within the fridge throughout the night. In that way, it will be easy and the cake will make it to a cow fault with no two stories, with no trouble. It will make it, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So come, come with me, guys. Come fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. So this is how it should look like. It's nice and light in color and also light in weight and yeah that's when it's ready for icing sugar this is just my old basket that i used for my icing sugar
see guys what my son does to the cupcakes. He does this to the cupcakes. He eats and leaves them. Just two left basically, so we will throw it out. One thing you must have noticed about me is that I like to clean up after myself every time I have a busy day like this. And I know my nana isn't in today, it's Friday, so I knew if I don't clean up uh, during intervals like this, I will have tons and tons and tons of dishes to do at the end of the day. So it's always easier and better for me to just clean up after myself during intervals. Saves me big time and clears my mind like I can function very well when the place is clean and organized. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to wash up dishes, um, wipe off all the countertops, pack every single utensil that I have used back to its original place. Because if I don't do that and I have a kick out of the fridge and I want to decorate or do something and I think about a specific utensil to use and I can't find it where it stays, I will be stressed out because I'll be standing there and looking for that specific thing for a few minutes thinking that is it dirty is it packed away where did we put it you know it's just time consuming so it's ideal i just do that and then in that way i find everything where they stay guys i'm working within a small kitchen yeah i know most of you guys think that i have a huge kitchen like it's big no my kitchen is actually small or at least for me it's very very small it's very much crowded that's why you always see things cluttered on the countertops and especially on the top of my counter uh, of my cabinets you will always see them and i hate 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 it i'm gonna dry my dirty dishes and make something for the kids to snack maybe oats or something yes you see the life of a busy stay at home mom i make it work guys i take one day at a time and i make it work and i know when i get up of that bed god gives me the strength i know when i wake up that god you got this again so he gives me the strength the energy to pull up and put up with anything that is thrown to me throughout the whole day so I'd say I'm blessed like that. Let me go make something for these little kitties. And um, my client will be here within next 40 minutes. So I have 40 minutes to get my kids something to eat. And then prep myself for the nails. And then once I'm done with that client, I'm just going to take out the other butter already so long. And then start beating it. And then when I'm done with the client, I will go ahead and close them off. I'm done with the client. The next one will come after two hours. So I have two hours in my hand to quickly go beat that icing, the second icing. And then I will be crumb coating them. Yeah. Crumb coat, I normally just do it with a white, the same color as of what I fill in. And then after the crumb coating, I will start filling it up after the next client because that's how i work and that's how i've set the appointment so that i can have enough time to have the cake set while i'm busy with the client and then when i'm done with the client i can proceed and it's already set see how smart i am see i think and yeah after that if i still have a few more minutes get something for the kids and myself this time and then I will proceed with the client and see you guys again after the client.
It's rich, guys. We are reading out of the book. It's even torn, guys. Uh, of Douglas. It's Douglas' birthday. Douglas or Douglas or Douglas. Um, are you listening? Mommy, it's for you. One very special day, Douglas was waiting for his friends. And while he was waited, he blew up lots of balloons. I hope everyone comes soon, he said. Oh, look at guys. And then when we go to the next page, it has very few pages though. Boing, 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 <laughs> whoop, whoops, <laughs> he said and grabbed his new poco stick. Watch me bounce, boing, boing, <laughs> oh, whoop, <laughs> guys, turn the book here, how am I going to read for you further? Guys, the book finishes there, because I'm sure there's probably two or three more pages, one from here, two from the side, Ton Hazel and Howard themselves. Get up of mommy now. I read for you. Rich. No. And yes, I'm making pap with milk for my kids. Um, they requested. Howard loves his pap with his sushi candela. So that's what I'm busy making. They had um, oats earlier, so now they wanted pap with milk. So they get excited for their pap. I'm going to do that and then cook dinner for everybody. If not, take away because from the looks of things, I am tired. <laughs> I'm gonna dish for her today. It's nice and soft for milk. Oh, there's a set. This is Hazel will come dish by herself because she knows how much amount she likes to eat. This one is empty. So we will put this one. Then. 
feet. Almost forgot to put in the pap. See guys how I just saw pap and he's like, Mama, I want to eat pap. Almost forgot to put in butter. So I just quickly went to put in a little scoop. Take it back. Go put them back. Oh, guys. Oof, flies. I mean, my house don't sting. It surely does not sting. I'm so tired. I'm tired. <laughs> my tired is tired i'm finally done with the clients it's 4 40. 4 40 on the dot and i'm really tired like tired during the process of doing nails i was still able to do or achieve all of that that's why guys <clears throat> my clients if you're watching this video it is that hard for me that when i say i'm full you need to understand because i will not say i'm full if i'm sitting on my bum and do nothing i'll just not do that i love money so i got to do the nails and i got to squeeze in like that when i know i'm gonna be busy i book like that so that i can have equal times as to for me to stand and for me to sit stand sit because with nails i sit with cakes i stand nails i sit just like that so my back can have the yeah so when i say i am tired or i'm full or i can't clients please understand me so now I'm just going to have this little bit. I still haven't eaten since in the morning. I only had breakfast and since then I didn't eat. But I'm so tired that I just need one ice cold one. Mm. No, somebody asked me if this is my favorite drink. Yes, it is like, it tastes like sparkling wine for me that i opt this one but it doesn't make me so much drunk like the wine does if i don't want to have alcohol on a heavy side i'll go for brutal fruit but don't be cheated guys this thing is makes you sweat <laughs> but i love wine and i'll always love wine i have like two more bottles there on the wine stand that's hazel's ugly book on my table i'll always go for wine wine is my number one but if i just take a glass of wine now i will not be able to finish this cakes then i'll have to postpone it tomorrow tomorrow i don't have enough time already so let me go finish that guys and then <coughs> let's do this thing okay let's do this thing
It's 8.49. I'm not done with the cake or cakes at all. There was a cake that needed to be picked up today. One of the tiny cakes that I was busy with had to be picked up today. So I needed to finish that. So it delayed me a little bit. But it's nothing big. All I will do is... I'll be writing the name as soon as I wake up in the morning. I for the big cake now, the one I just topped up now. And then just do the webs, the spider web. So that's what I will be doing in the morning. That's all, you guys. So the rest is done. There's the small one that I will also have to cover up in the morning. Oh, my one is just a simple cake that a person ordered. It's her birthday and she just ordered for herself. She lives alone. So she said anything, Ugh, just do it as long as I can just cut and eat. So I'll be coating it with, I'll leave it white and do red chocolate wrap. And just have a birthday sign on, maybe with a white icing twist, then I'll be done. So right now I will go, I'm busy cooking actually. I uh, will go um number five needs to have like this gold glitter something something so i will go maybe spray on it or paint on it we'll see This is how I've achieved the Spider-Man cake. What do you guys all think? It is a lot of work. I will never stop saying that it's a lot of work because we don't have to lie to each other. It is really a lot of work, but it only takes um, patience. You need to be very patient if you want to do cake decoration and stuff like that. Nothing comes easy, guys. You have to work super hard for it. So I'm very proud of myself. I never went for any classes. I started off from scratch and I went by 
the little money that I would get from the cake money, I would invest into buying more of the cake things, the equipment, the tools and stuff like that. I still don't have everything. I have still, I maybe have 40 or 50% of the things I need to have. I still have a whole long way to go. So if I can say myself that I can do this, achieve this with what I have right now, it's a lot. So I'm super proud and I'm very happy. It's not the first time I'm doing a Spider-Man cake. That's why it's a bit easier today. But if it's the first time for something, it is always a bit difficult and takes a lot of work. But I'm really super proud and happy, guys. Look at that. I will never in a million years believe that I am actually the one that achieved that.